Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terraquator today. Welcome to Monday, Monday, June 17th, 2024, day 100 and <laughs> 169. We're bang, okay? Yep. Well, anyway, that's the last day with orange on the colors. We had a very interesting weekend. Father's Day went quite well. Uh, I got to, uh, I got to mess with some geese. I got to, uh, Look at some prairie dogs. Kids got to play in the splash pad. It was all plenty of fun. Uh, well, I was working on a 360 video with more of those um, uh, prairie dogs or ground squirrels. I uh, have to go out to that park multiple times in order to get exactly what I'm trying to. Because um, they need to get acclimated to the camera, even if I'm not near it. And that will take some time. But, uh, yeah... They just didn't want to get anywhere all that close to it, probably because it's new. Even if it was stationary and I was nowhere near the camera, um, it's a new object. They're not used to it, so they're going to be weary of it. I thought about the idea of putting food near there, but I don't want to cause, you know, more problems for the park. I have been told that they, uh, that the city does want to get rid of all the ground squirrels. I can understand why, because... They're not, uh, from what I know, they're not supposed to be in that level of abundance in the park. But because they were, th I'm guessing they were already there. But when they, they built the park, they built the school way back. I mean, it's only gotten worse since then. From what I've heard is that the ground squirrels have only gotten worse. Because all of their natural predators are, well, they're not there. They, you know, they get hunted by coyotes and hawks and stuff like that. And they're not in abundance in this area. In fact, they try to stay out of the city. And because of that, the ground squirrels were able to, you know, proliferate. Which only means it's only gotten worse and worse and worse. So the city's talking about getting rid of them because they also want to put in a water park over there. I, I have mixed feelings about it, but that that's not my decision. But... While they're here, I'd like to get some research in and some good footage for everyone, because that would be quite a bit of fun, don't you think? But outside of that, it was fun. Uh, that was the first time, though. L Lily told me that was the first time she's ever seen a goose hiss, which uh, <laughs> that was actually kind of fun. Uh, luckily, those geese, are they're, they're used to people. They don't really go very far. They kind of stick around all the time. Well, I, I guess except for winter time, but they they usually stick around because they're they're from here, so they're they're pretty used to people. They don't really get harassed by people, and they don't really harass people unless you get too close to their young, kind of like I did. Sorry, but yeah, hopefully in the coming weeks I can continue working on my little project. That should be a lot of fun, and but that does also mean more time for the kids to go to the park. It's it's a decent distance from us here, so they can't go to that park all the time. But the more often they can go, the better, and the more I can get some research done. But uh, currently, if you're wondering what world we're in today, the world is just called Mushroom Loft. There are plenty of mushrooms here. Nice, quaint little place. Come with me. I Just because of the few things that are here, I'm already debating on making this my home world instead. Because uh, it's got a spice rack. Thing, the funny thing is, though, there's there are some spices that are on here that I do not have. And they are real spices. There's allspice. I don't use allspice. I have bay leaf. I have chives. Although I prefer fresh chives. I have cloves. I have dill. I have dill seed and dill weed in my, in my pantry. I have ginger. I have coriander. Yeah, that's coriander. I have cardamom. I don't have anise because I, I, I haven't really, I don't know much about anise, but I could try using it sometime. I always, always keep cayenne pepper on hand. So I have cayenne pepper. I don't mess with dry cilantro. It's just silly. I only do fresh cilantro. I have cumin. I always keep cumin on hand. I always keep garlic. I have nutmeg. I have sage. I have mint. I have basil. I actually, I do need to get more basil. I kind of, kind of ran out. I do have chili pepper. I have several types of chili pepper, including smoked chili pepper. 
I have cinnamon. I also have whole cinnamon, which I do use in my curry. I do not keep curry powder. The curry right here, mm -mm. we don't do curry powder in this house. I make my curry from scratch. I keep mustard. Mustard's a new one for me. Mustard is new. I like, um, I'm used to, you know, just yellow mustard. So we don't, you know, not a lot of people like mustard, but I tried mustard seed. I have whole mustard seed and uh, ground mustard seed. And I learned, oh, 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 oh. Mustard seed is amazing. That is something you should use in more of your cooking, especially when you're cooking with meats and stuff. Use mustard seed more often. That stuff is really, really good. It does really well with uh, pizzazzing your food. It's not, obviously, it's not vinegary. In fact, you can take a pinch of the mustard seed powder if you get any. Just take a tiny little pinch of it and taste it. It's not spicy. It's not bitter. It's it's very pleasant. It's a very mild taste, and it does really well, especially once it gets cooked. It's so good. I do keep rosemary. I prefer ro I pr I prefer fresh rosemary, and of course, pepper, black pepper. Always keep that one. But the thing is, I actually have, I have more spices than this. I have, I have um, quite a few spices. Although I do need to start restocking my spices soon. And there's also this magic cutting board and wonderful, wonderful glowing mushrooms here. But uh, I was thinking about other things I could do today, but I'm at a loss, you know. But that's. Kind of to be expected after a, such a busy weekend, you kind of end up on a, in a, in a brain fog. Yeah, that's me. I thought about being all weird, like kind of thing, but I just, I, I couldn't, I brain farted really. So I, I ran out of thoughts really. So you get to just put up with me being here. Uh, let me think. I haven't seen any of my friends online. They're all, well, all, some of my friends are obviously sleeping. Some of them live on the other side of the world. And some of them like being up really late at night, which um, I can't be, I shouldn't be staying up so late anymore. Trying very hard to stop that because I need to, there are things I need to do in the mornings when it's still not too hot out. Like all that yard work I still need to do. Oh, that digging dirt left my back sore the entire weekend. It was, it was, it was unpleasant, but, oh, oh, my, uh, my body must be most displeased with me right now. It's trying to leave me. So I guess I'll just stand right here. Proud of myself. Ever so proud. Not really. But, um... Yeah, that's about it. It's mostly mostly my thoughts remain on the the video project I want to work on. There are other video projects I do want to do. I still need to find a bowl of guacamole where I can put the camera. I want to be a bowl of guacamole. It's just a weird one I want to do. So there's that one. Um, still need to prep for some more astrophotography. Make sure my camera is working. My phone camera is working well enough for the job. Of course, I need to wait for another blackout. That would be preferable. Like a like a blackout late at night during a new moon. That would be perfect for that one. Knowing with all the oh dear, all the light pollution that we get here, it would be Okay, my body does not want to cooperate with me, huh? Okay. Let's see if I can recalibrate and fix that. There we go. Hopefully that'll do it. It's just trying to evade and kind of go away. But anyway, I, I do need to keep this one brief because I need to work on dinner. We're just we're just going to have spaghetti tonight. S something nice and simple because we're hitting that time where we need to start thinking a little more carefully with how we handle our foods. And I'm not going to have much opportunity going to any specialty stores because the rest of the, the family, extended family, they're quite busy this week. So it's going to be mostly us relaxing at home. But anyway, I hope everyone's enjoying their Monday. I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their day. Yes, because this is a very fascinating Monday. This has been enlightening. Is that the word? Maybe. But yes, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy myself a little more. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make that spin. 
baguettes. So, everyone, enjoy your Monday. And we'll see you all tomorrow on Monday. This is Tara Quator signing out. We will see you all tomorrow on Tuesday. I have to come up with something for it since I'm supposed to be with Tessa tomorrow. Y'all take it easy. See you tomorrow. Hey, it's like I'm cooking all over again, but I'm not.